you look here on the marsh plain here at the Ash Avenue Restoration, part of Carpentria Salt Marsh, we can see here we're in the, the upper edge of the plain, of the salt marsh plain, and we have a mix of uh, Salicornia species, Arthrochthamum species, these, these guys over here, this succulent, this pickleweed, pickleweed. Over here, with the pink flowers right here, we have uh, Frankenia grandifolia, salt marsh heath. And then just uh, in general, we see a mix, right? So we have, there's some cuscuta, some daughter here. We have some disticula spicata. We have some of our classic uh, uh, integrating of these wetland species. As we move out more into the main, or the, or the lower, and then here we have some jaumea, a little, little uh, actually extensive patch of jaumea here. As we migrate out into the flatter area, well first we can see, um, right here we can see lots of Cerathidia californica or horn snails that are uh, uh, chilling out here in this tidal creek. And uh, as we uh, move out more into the marsh plain, we're getting things like uh, limonium here, sea lavender, and a few other critters. But as we get uh, flatter, we're getting um, a bit more of uh, community dominance. So a bit less of the mix of different species and more of um, sort of monotypic stands or monospecific stands of uh, in this, so in this case, we got a bunch of Jaumea, more Jaumea here, uh, more extensive patches of it, etc. And that's generally the story. So as we come higher in the marsh, we tend to get more diversity. As we go lower, we tend to get more um, single species stands. Um, so this is a great example. Again, this is the Ash Avenue Restoration, an area that was restored in 1997. And a really nice, a small patch, but nevertheless a re relatively nice Nice chunk. So I'll let you just sit here for a minute and check out the beauty of this salt marsh for a minute or so and chill out. Enjoy Ash Avenue.